one of his, one of Kensington Rinpoche's father's root guru is also Shishin Gyalsa Rinpoche. <coughs> we have so many names, so I try to minimize the names, instead of confusing you. So one of the teachers, Shishin Gyalsa, so he really uh, had faith in Shishin Gyalsa. So Kensington Rinpoche said, okay, now he is reincarnation of Kensi, so you must uh, let him uh, practice Dharma, join the, join the, join the monastery. Then he also not easily, he, he didn't let, let him let Kenzo go easily. He said, I need a proof, kind of proof that he is reincarnation. So until Kenzo Rinpoche really told him how he knew he was reincarnation, his father would not accept. So Kenzo Rinpoche said, last night the, 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 one of the protectors came, I think particularly Tseringma, belongs to Nongshin Yinti tradition, protector came and told me personally that he will benefit the Dharma. So you have to let him go. But still, father, a little bit hesitant. And so I don't want to go into so detail, but then Kensington Bridge had an accident and he he almost died. And then they did a divination, consult with many, many teachers. And everybody says, if you don't let him be what he is, he will not live because he's not born to work as an, uh, to carry on your family legacy. So the father, before Kensington Bridge recover, from the, the accident, he started putting the Dharma robes, the Dharma robes on him, and he said, okay, now, now I'll let you go. So like that. So <clears throat> then he let Kenzo Rinpoche go, and then Kenzo Rinpoche met with him. Uh, uh, he, he went to see his teacher, Shishin Gyalsa Rinpoche, and that time, Song Sikinze, Church Lodge, previous Song Sikinze, Church Lodge was also studying, so they sort of studied together. Uh, with so, how he became what he is, is that Rinpoche, one, one condition, or one, one condition was that Rinpoche had a very, very good tutor, that is his elder brother, who was also a great practitioner, very knowledgeable. So he knew which lama, which teacher to go and uh, see, which teacher to, to go to see which teacher, because that time there are many great masters, uh, living there, so he took to the right right teacher. That is one, I think, reason. Then second reason is many of these teachers, the great teachers, who think that Kensi Rinpoche is the reincarnation of their teacher. So they are very, very happy to give any teaching that that he requests. They really like special attention to Kensi Rinpoche. So that's also one privilege. Privilege, right? One, one of the reasons. And then I think another thing is that uh, the family is quite uh, quite well off and supportive of Dharma. So whenever Rinpoche wants to go, Kenzo Rinpoche wants to go and receive teachings or study with Lamas, they always support him uh, with sending grains, samba, and all those supporting. So Rinpoche had always family support for him to do that. Then on top of that, his own kind of determination. He studied with so many different teachers. He used to say he has like 50 different teachers from all, all different schools. And um, together he spent like 20 years in retreat practicing. So all those conditions together. Then can say which became uh, who, who he is. <coughs> So it's not kind of a title that you say, okay, you are a high lama and he suddenly becomes high lama. It's not, not like that. I think even to become Kensir Buche and how he became he is, it's a great uh, example for us that uh, is in a path how we have to progress to get to some kind of higher realization. So in Kensir Buche's case, uh, there are many, many circumstances that can together and then which became uh, what he is. <clears throat>